Welcome to I Know Jax. I'm Joe Talentino, your guide on this magical adventure this evening. Now, I don't feel like I deserve the designation of being anyone's guide. Our TV show is called I Know Jax, but that doesn't mean that I consider myself any kind of expert on the topic matter. It's just a really cool name. Instead of looking at me as a guide or an expert, look at me as a guinea pig. That's much more accurate. I'm the one who goes out on adventures around the area to find out what is fun to do. And hopefully I'm helping to guarantee you a good time because if I don't like it, I won't recommend it and you won't have to be disappointed or waste your time. Well, that's what I'm hoping to achieve anyway. And I'll be the first to admit that I'm not always successful because there is one small problem with that logic. See, what I think is fun and great may not always be what you think is fun and great. So the long and short of it is, you always need to go with your own gut and make your own decisions. But since you're a smart cookie, you already knew that. Speaking of smart people, this Sunday I will be joined by a bunch of smart people at the Fish Company in Atlantic Beach to celebrate the I Know Jack's two-year birthday. We'll be filming, so if you can't make it, you can see what you missed next week. This week, we're welcoming a new sponsor to the show, Camping World Jacksonville. They made it possible for us to do a new road trip series with the destination of Jekyll Island, Georgia. This road trip segment is brought to you by Camping World of Jacksonville. It's time for a road trip. We left Camping World of Jacksonville in our RV and set course for Jekyll Island, Georgia. It takes about an hour and a half to get to Jekyll Island, so it's really not far at all. They say when you drive through the gate to Jekyll Island, you can leave your troubles behind. They'll be there when you get back. Every time I visit Jekyll Island, I make the visitor center my first stop. Why? Because I get to go up on this beautiful watchtower and check out the marshes and the beautiful bridge. Come take a look. And here we are, Jekyll Island. First we drove to the historic district just to get a preview. Jekyll Island Club Hotel used to be a winter retreat for some of the most elite families in the United States, including famous names such as Pulitzer, Rockefeller, and Vanderbilt, just to name a few. I'm at the Goodyear Cottage, and that's what's kind of cool. They call this building, I would call a mansion, they call it a cottage. Today, the Jekyll Island Club National Historic Landmark District is one of the largest ongoing restoration projects in the southeastern United States, and it's a fascinating place to visit. You can take a guided tour by trolley or horse carriage from the Jekyll Island Museum. This is Driftwood Beach, one of the most photogenic beaches on Jekyll Island. A lot of people come here to do their wedding photos and it's also a great place to take a walk and just chill.
The sun was going down and it was time to go set up camp. We're hanging out at the campground on Jekyll Island. I've got Ronnie Douglas and Mr. Elliot Corbett with me. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing good. What's your favorite activity to do on the island besides the camp? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's um, riding bicycles. Okay. Um, you know, we have about 22 miles of paved bicycle paths yes, here in Bowler. So if you come to Jekyll Island, bring your bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> Fishing. Go okay. I'm going in the morning. Going in the morning. <laughs> going in the morning. <laughs> Already got the bait and uh, got a partner to go with me. Uh, love fishing. Do you go out to the pier or do you go on a boat? Pier, yeah. Sheepshead fishing. It's been a long day. We finally got set up with the RV and I, believe it or not, got this fire started with a little help from my campground friends. I'm really looking forward to exploring the island over the next few days. Okay, here's the deal. You really need to subscribe to our newsletter. That's how you find out about upcoming events and meetups for I Know Jacks. And let me tell you, we are planning to increase the frequency of our events since so many of you tell me you enjoy them so much. Let me tell you a secret. We're already looking at having another event. So if you can't come to the fish company this weekend, don't worry. You'll get another chance real soon. Just visit iknowjacks.com and sign up for the newsletter and you'll be the first to find out. After the break, let's hang out. I'm about to have a Google Hangout with Alexander Renoir, a great artist. You may have heard the name before. His great grandfather is also pretty well known. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, yes, I am the great grandson, straight down the line, Yorgos Renoir. I'm the youngest son of the youngest son of the youngest son. <laughs> so, uh, my great grandfather was an amazing, amazing painter, and right. with a, a depth of heritage and, and, and skill and everything. It's, it took him 79 years in which to get there. Don't talk to me, 79 years. So you did. You developed this whole sort of new style of your own. And how did you how did you come about doing it? Did you just start experimenting and you said, okay, this is the thing I want to do? There's a philosophy my great grandfather had, which was with every new day comes new ideas and new paint. So everything should always be fresh. There's always a lot of extra paint. Right. Uh, I hated to throw it away, and I would try to uh, reface a canvas that I started to like by you know putting a, a thick layer of. Uh, paint on it leaving it dry. But being a bit of a perfectionist too, I couldn't get it exactly flat uh, with like a thickness of paint and a palette knife. So I started goofing off. <laughs> Imagine that. It's one of my favorite it's one of my favorite pastimes by the way. <laughs> I mean it's necessary. Yeah yeah you know, life and love and, and excitement and playing. And uh, yeah. a month later, I don't have enough to cover a canvas, but I have too much to throw away. I had a month worth of uh, canvases that I had uh, played with. <laughs> exactly. Before. I love the playing. <laughs> and so I went and I started redoing those. And of course, those ran out pretty quick because they were so much fun and so easy to do for, well, not easy, but you, you get the idea. <laughs> so you're saying uh, you've been playing around for the last 10 years with painting. Pretty much. Look <laughs> forward to uh, maybe coming down to see you and meeting you in person as well. That would be excellent. <laughs> we, we will focus on fun together. After you've visited the Renoir exhibit, make sure to go across the street and visit my buddy Pete at the Green Man Gourmet. This is Ed Horton from the Jacksonville Giants from Shreveport, Louisiana, and you watching I Know Jack. Yeah!
thanks for hanging out with me here on the show tonight. I do appreciate it. I also appreciate all the emails and suggestions about fun things to do that I receive. Please continue sending them to joe at iknowjacks.com. I read all of your emails and lots of stories we do here come from suggestions from one of our viewers. I don't know Jax, but you do. And that's a good thing because we wouldn't have much of a show without your support. So please continue supporting our efforts. Tell your friends about us. Tell them to subscribe to our newsletter and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, to follow us on Facebook. I'll be back next week with another brand spanking new episode of I Know Jax. Until then, I'll see you on the internet. In next week's episode of I Know Jax, we'll continue to explore Jekyll Island, Georgia. This time we'll talk about nature and wildlife. We're also visiting Campeche Bay and Jack's Beach for some great drink recipes. The I Know Jax beer guy Mark Wisdom is back with beer news, and Carla has a new calendar and much, much more. I Know Jax, Saturdays and Sundays at 9.30 p.m. right here on CW17.